Here I have four brand new watches from Huawei in 2024 and in this video I'm going to highlight the design changes and differences between these four watches and the upgrades that Huawei have made and the first thing you need to know about these watches is all of them are compatible with iOS and Android and Apple actually have the official Huawei health app on the App Store now so you can just download it from there. If you're on Android you will need to download it from Huawei's official website in the form of an APK and if you are in the market for a brand new smartwatch or fitness tracker and you're tired of the usual two to three day battery life that you get from most smartwatches, well, you should definitely keep an eye on these. Anyway, now let's get into some of the key need to know things about these watches. So this one right here is the Huawei GT5 Pro. This one is available in three different colors. You've got brown leather, blue woven, and there's also the titanium strap version, which is this one right here. So these are actually the same watch. This one's called the classic style and this is the sports style. Now these, in my opinion, are some of the most fashionable smartwatches out there. And that's something really Huawei have been focused on delivering. The build quality and design on these watches are phenomenal. So let's start there. So this one is the 46 millimeter Pro Edition. There's also a 42 millimeter, which looks entirely different, but we'll focus on this one because this is what I have here. The display on this one is 466 by 466 resolution, 325 pixels per inch. So it looks incredibly sharp and it's very bright too. So even in the brightest sunlight, you'll still be able to see the display. It uses a very strong sapphire glass on top of that display. And because the display is kind of sunken beneath it, you almost get this kind of 3D effect on the screen, which is really nice. The back is protected by a nano ceramic casing, which I'm told takes seven days to manufacture. And just like previous models, it's still got that clickable and rotating crown for navigation. And then you've also got the quick shortcut button, which jumps straight into your workout modes. And when it comes to those workout modes, there's a bunch of pre-installed courses and plans and a bunch of presets. And there's actually over a hundred different workout modes. So pretty much anything you want to do when it comes to fitness, you can pretty much track it with any of these watches. And there's some new features here, which we'll come back to in a minute. And when it comes to the quick shortcuts, you can customize these and just add the ones that you actually do and get rid of the ones that you don't. The shape of the watch is quite unique to Huawei at this point in time, it's an octagonal shape. And the casing on this is now an upgraded TC4 titanium alloy. And that's wrapped around that circular display. And I know some people prefer the circular display. So if that's you, I think you're gonna really appreciate this one. Overall, it's a very classy design in my opinion. So the main difference between the sports version and the classic version here is obviously the strap. So the strap is actually titanium to match the frame. We've got titanium here, but this one comes with the Flora Elastomer strap. Also, you'll notice just below that sapphire glass, you have an inner bezel here on the classic version and it's this red and blue color just beneath the surface with some markings there as well. It just makes it look a little bit more classy and a little less sporty. Also, you've got that more sort of natural titanium color as opposed to the black titanium that you get on the sports version. But apart from that, they're pretty much the same watch. And there's nothing to stop you actually putting a metal strap on the sports version if you wanted to buy that from Huawei separately. And just going back to the watch straps very quickly, you do get quick release systems on both the different types of watch straps. So with this one, it's just a single button to remove the watch strap. And then with the classic version, you still get that same quick release button here on the back. And you'll notice on the inside of the strap, you do get these quick release catches for each one of these links. So you can resize it very quickly. And there are some additional links in the box in case you need to extend it. Now, something that's particularly interesting about this TC4 titanium alloy that's used here is Huawei say is two to four times stronger than regular stainless steel. So that makes both of these more robust, more resistant to scratches and more rugged than before. Now, before we move on to the next watch, one of the little things that's been upgraded here, which is kind of a big deal actually, is the increased IP rating. So now these are IP69K rated. The K stands for Kondenswasser, which is a German word for condensation water. And what this really refers to is the fact that these are more resistant to heat now, but also they're more resistant to corrosion. For example, the kind of corrosion caused by sea salt. So if you are gonna be using these in the ocean, you don't have to worry so much about them eroding over time. 
So this is definitely a welcomed upgrade and it gives these watches a notable advantage over just regular IP68 smartwatches. And if you're wondering about the depth limitations on these, you can actually dive up to 40 meters with these watches on with no issues at all. However, you won't catch me down there. There's just far too many sharks. <laughs> All right, next up we have the Huawei GT5 regular edition, the non-pro. This one's the 41 millimeter version. This comes in at 229 pounds and there are five colors available. There's the white leather, gold Milanese, brown woven, and then there's this one, the blue flora elastomer. And as you can see, the strap itself has this kind of diamond-like pattern in the band, which is quite unique. This one has much narrower bezels than the Pro version and the regular five. The frame on this one is stainless steel, not titanium. And you'll notice that kind of diamond-like pattern is cut into the bezel. Just like the Pro version, it's got that nano crystal ceramic on the back and sapphire glass up front. And although the crown has a slightly different design than the Pro versions, it works in exactly the same way. It is clickable and rotatable and you do get that quick shortcut button on that right side, which jumps straight into your workout modes. And just like the pro version and the bigger version of this, the GT5, it does have speakers and a mic built in, so you can take and make phone calls here, and it'll also talk to you whilst you're mid-workout and give you updates on how you're doing. Now this display actually surprisingly, even though it's smaller, has that same 466 by 466 resolution. The panel size here is 1.32 inches. And because it's the same resolution, but smaller, this does mean it is more pixel dense and it looks incredibly sharp. Not to say that the Pro doesn't, it actually does, but this one looks even more sharp. It's also got that same IP69 Condorcet rating. But with that said, this one is not suitable for 40 meter diving, but it is suitable for swimming pool swimming. So I guess it can't withstand quite as much pressure as the Pro model. Now, because this one is a smaller watch, it does have a smaller battery. The Pro models can last up to 14 days on a single charge, and this one can last up to seven days, which if we're being honest, is pretty much double what most other smartwatches offer. The quick release buttons on the back of the watch straps are the same, but of course the watch straps being a bit more narrow than the Pro version, means that you do have to buy watch straps specifically for this size watch. And next up we have the redesigned Huawei Watch Ultimate. This one comes in at 749, so this is a very premium watch. And it's not so much of an upgrade, just more of a redesign. And to be honest, this one probably should have been called the Huawei Watch Ultimate Golf Edition, and you'll see why in a minute if you haven't guessed already. So this version of the Ultimate's got this new color scheme with the white and green. There's also a few exclusive watch faces here which are very golf orientated. Around that bezel, you've got this dual nanotech ceramic, and it also comes with green straps to match. You do also get the titanium bracelet with it, and I'm not gonna go too much into all of the features on the Ultimate Watch because I've done an entire video just about the Ultimate Watch itself. But just to highlight some of the design aspects here and why they call it the Ultimate, here's a few things you need to know about it. The casing is made from a zirconium-based liquid metal, making it 4.5 times stronger than stainless steel and at the same time around 15% lighter. The crown on this watch is titanium alloy and the glass up front is that same sapphire glass, which is incredibly strong and scratch resistant. And the display on this one is the largest of the lineup that I have here. It's a 1.5 inch LTPO AMOLED. And this one being the ultimate has a 10 ATM rating. So this means with this particular watch, you can go as deep as 100 meters below sea level. And they do throw in an extra long wrist strap that can fit over your wetsuit if you're wearing one. And then there's also an exclusive button to this watch. And this one activates your expedition modes. And then on top of that, because this one can be used as a scuba diving watch, there's a bunch of diving safeguard features built into the watch. So you can really use this as a kind of mini dive computer. The battery life on this one, just like the Pro models, is 14 days. And on all of the watches you've seen in this video, they all recharge in 60 minutes from zero to 100 using the provided wireless charging pucks that they ship with. Now, before we get into the upgrades and before I tell you which one of these is my favorite, let me show you some things here within the Huawei Health app. So there's a bunch of fitness tracking options here and you have this kind of clover layout. This lets you know how you're doing, but you can have the classic ring style like you're probably used to seeing on other smartwatches. 
But what I want to show you here is the level of customization because it used to be good, but now it's kind of incredible. So when you go to the watch faces section here, the library has grown massively in recent years. So you have your paid ones up here. So you literally have to buy these watch faces. But if you go to the free watch face section, the amount of free watch faces now is incredible. And it just goes on and on and on. And some of these offer optional complications. So you can add shortcuts to various features on the watch within these watch faces. And then of course, on the watches themselves, you get a bunch of pre-installed uh, watch faces to use and some exclusive ones, depending on the model that you go for. Something else worth knowing about the app is the music. So you can actually send music that you have on your device to the watch so it can play music independent from the phone. So for example, I've got a bunch of audio tracks here on this Huawei device. If I go to send this to the watch, what you'll see here, and this is the same for all of the watches on the desk, they have around a gig and a half of storage built in. So you can take music with you if you happen to have MP3s or WAV files on your device that you wanna put onto the watch. Anyway, now let's get into the upgrades. So the first big upgrade is that now you can reply to SMS, WhatsApp messages, Instagram messages, Facebook messages, Skype and Signal and Telegram and Viber messages. Whereas before you could just kind of read the notifications and also the keyboard if you're using Android has been upgraded. You can actually use voice to text now and you do have a full QWERTY keyboard that you can type on as well. And the predictive text on this keyboard has also been improved. And also Huawei have made some tweaks to the user interface, improving the animations and changing the colors and the sizes of things to make it more readable whilst you're kind of mid-workout. And now you can have offline maps. And not only offline maps, but you can also have contour lines to show the heights in which you're scaling whilst you're running up a mountain or something like that. So that's a nice improvement. There is some other little features like the new screenshot feature. There's also a brand new emotional health tracking feature. And actually this little panda bear that you have here on the 41 millimeter by default will reflect your current emotional state. Now there is an all new trail running feature and this can actually track your route even when you're not on a listed road or pathway. And what it will do is actually place check marks along your route. So if you do get lost, you can use these check marks to find your way back. And remember how I said the ultimate should be called the golf edition. Well, there is a brand new golf mode, which actually features on all of the pro watches this year. So within this golfing mode, there's a new driving range mode, which can help you with your swing and all this kind of thing, your tempo, on the upswing and the downswing, but also you will now get access to over 1500 courses globally, which can be downloaded directly to the watch. And once you've done that, it will show the trees, the fairways, the bunkers, the water hazards, the distance to the hole. And within the app, you can even list what clubs you have, and then it can help you use the right club, depending on how far you are from the green, for example. And it will also show wind direction and speed and those contour lines as well for slopes and things like that. And then once you've had a game of golf, you can look at your post game analysis results so you can improve next time. So if you are into golfing, this is a pretty big deal. Now, all of these new software additions are nice, but the biggest upgrade this year to the GT5 range is the upgrades that they've made to TrueSense, which is the software that works behind the sensor array on the watches. So something that makes a massive difference is their new cutting edge glass darkening technology. So this actually allows the light source at the back of the watch to penetrate a bit deeper into the skin layers. And put simply, it kind of reduces any kind of cross talk between the light sources. And this gives the health tracking accuracy a boost of around 20%. Also, these watches have Huawei's Sunflower GPS array around the watch face because when you're running and you're swimming or you're doing things like that, the watch is not always gonna be facing the sky. And using this Sunflower method, they've improved the GPS significantly, probably to the point where these might be the very best GPS smartwatches out there today. So the GPS compared to the previous version has improved 40% when it comes to route accuracy. So literally, if you're running down one side of the street on the way out and then on the other side of the street on the way back, it will know what side of the street you're on. It's that accurate. Also, the distance accuracy is increased by 30%. 
and the pace accuracy is also increased by 20%. So if you do want something that's very accurate and you're a runner or a swimmer, anything like that, you're gonna have much more accurate results at the end of your workout. Also some upgrades to the software and the hardware in the sensor array allows for much faster blood oxygen readings and the ECG measurement tool is now much, much more accurate and very close to medical grade. So put simply, while we've put 10 years of R&D investment money into making sure that these smartwatches are some of the very best when it comes to health tracking and measurements. So there we go, we've got upgraded material, upgraded water resistance, upgrades to the health measurement and tracking, and upgraded software and features, and quite specifically, the gold feature is a massive new addition to the new Pro watches. You don't get that on the regular, 41 mil and whilst the 41 mil is still very accurate when it comes to health tracking and measurement it's a bit more of a casual looking watch and maybe this one might be more for the ladies now there are tons more Huawei watches out there right now let me know if you guys want to see any more Huawei content from me if there's any questions you have about these watches let me know in the comments and if you just subscribed you are now one of the finest subscribers known to man and if you do go deep sea diving watch out for those sharks Anyway, appreciate you guys. See you in the next one. Don't be late.